Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today I'm going to review this Okupa, I know, Okupa uh, LED light. There's 12 LEDs inside here. This whole base has a 1200 milliamp per hour battery inside of it. It's rechargeable, and uh, yeah, it's opposable. I think this item is going to be really good for children's, a children's room or knick-knack room, like where you may go in there and do a little... Uh, uh, work as an adult, like a seamstress or something, maybe you need a light. Uh, this is a nice little touch with a little holder in here for like pins or or anything that if you make crochet or something like that, you can stick that in there. But the cool thing is it's rechargeable, it's cordless, and with the 12 LEDs and a 1200 milliamp per hour battery inside, it's going to last a really long time, take a couple hours to charge via the micro USB. And yeah, let's go through some of the settings of it. I'm going to start a new series where maybe items under 20 bucks, stuff that's really cheap, will get a really super fast, quick review. That way I can hurry up and get that stuff out. There seems to be more cheaper, good products available and readily available and affordable than there are high-end expensive ones. So I can hurry up and get these things out to you. So you may see more of these uh, coming up on the holiday season. That's a good chance of that happening. And they did send me this and I did pick this to be sent to me. That's important because I thought this would be important for the baby's room and uh, being cordless and stuff like that. I can move it around and change it. The only uh, thing I don't like, there's one thing I don't like, we'll get into that, but it does have eye relief, eye care inside. So you shouldn't have to worry with flickering or anything like that. And the diffuser is quite nice. So let's look into this super cheap, what is it, like 13 bucks, $12.99 lamp. That's really cheap and a good thing. But before we get started, make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that dong so you get notified the next time I come out with another product review. Now, like I said, you do get this cord with it and it's a micro USB. So we know that this thing's charged up. Uh, it's lasted a really long time so far. And then once you touch it, it's touch sensitive. It's not uh, uh, anything to click or anything like that, which is nice. The light is extremely bright and it's a good color tone. I think the color tones, uh, the color temps, excuse me, go from 3000 to 5000 Kelvin which is good because 5,000 around that area is close to daylight. So what you'll be seeing is an actual real color and I kind of like that color. It's my favorite temp on lights. But you can see it's completely bendable. You can wrap this thing around something if need be. Like say you have a changing table or something like that and you want to wrap it around here and you've got some of these tubes of uh, 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 medication that you may need to put on your baby when you change his diaper when he goes Boo -boo. And that's a thing. You could wrap that around your crib and then have a little holder for stuff. And now you've got this touch sensitive thing to go change your baby with or do something with your baby or hang it. I don't know. Not crib. I said changing table, correct? I hope I make sure. No crib, but changing table. And everything is at your complete discretion. So please don't listen to me when it comes to baby stuff because I do not want to be responsible for any accidents and say, and you come back and say, I said, and all that good stuff. Don't want to get into that, but the port's back here to charge it. It does have uh, some rubberized feet here. It's not going anywhere. The balance of the base will allow it to almost go all the way out, but not quite. So it should have been maybe a little more weighted on the base, I'd say. I know so. I think it should have been. But maybe you could add something in here, like maybe a weight or something you could glue and just stick to the bottom if, if you needed it to stretch out for whatever reason like that and you may be okay but for the price i don't think you can beat this now let's talk about the lighting controls and the one thing that that i don't like so we'll put the light here so you can see this against my skin and the uh, countertop here so you can turn it on and off with a touch and then you hold it down to dim it and that's still on, but just super dim. And then you can hold it again to increase it. And you can stop that at any time and hold it down again to reverse it. So we can go full bright. There we go. Go a little bit up. Let's say I want to go back to brightness. There we go. So if I want to go back to dim, there we go. And I want to turn it off, I just tap it. But here's the part that I don't like. When you tap it, it comes back on full brightness all the time, no matter where you were when you left it. And I wish that, say I had it there, 
I've changed him. He's still kind of not awake yet at the crib, or not the crib, but the changing table. Uh, and I turn it off, and the next time I come back in there, I want to try to tiptoe to, to not wake him up. I push it, it's super bright, and then I got to hold it. But you can come into it on and just hold it like that, and it is pretty quick about getting to him. But it is that flash of light at first until it can dim back down. And that's it. That's the only thing that I don't like. You might even use this for makeup. Like if you've got a daughter, a kid's room, they've got different colors of this. I think they have a pink one. So it might, good, go good, might go good for a girl's room or something or bathroom. But if she's like doing makeup or something like that and wants something kind of cool, maybe some, some sticks and makeup stuff or a toothbrush. I don't know if this is waterproof. Like I said, everything I say is my opinion. Do not do it and something happened and blame me for it. But you can stick your electric toothbrush or something that's dry into this if you wanted to or whatever. I don't know. Be creative with it. The cool thing is this thing can move, and manipulate, and do anything you want it to and still stay lit and look kind of stylish too. It still kind of looks like a flower. And yeah, so I think that works. And hopefully you don't see any flicker. Let's look at this, do a flicker test. If you don't see any kind of flickering going on, we'll go through all the motions. And then back up to the brightest. There you go. The diffuser works good. I could see on the brightest setting, like I said, doing some makeup, and it's not like blinding my eyes because of that diffuser that's on there, that little milky white thing. So overall, um, I kind of like this LED, 12 LED, little opposable uh, holder lamp there. I think it, can, it has multiple purposes. Looks good and stylish for the youth, for the children of the world, and for the grandmothers out there that has all these little hobbies that she likes to do and needs a light because her vision's fading. Uh, this might work. Christmas is coming for 13 bucks. This makes a really good stock and stuff for gift. Nobody has to know that it costs $13. And I think it's pretty neat. So thanks for watching Isaiah's Reviews. This has been this little LED opposable plant lamp. Make sure to subscribe and like this thing. Uh, and I'll see you again uh, real soon. Bye-bye.